3. Slicing Example 1. When using slicing software for the first time, it is recommended not to slice complex models at the beginning. Print some simple models first to get familiar with the slicing principle, and then gradually increase the difficulty. The steps of slicing a model are mainly as follows. Set the printer model, set the type of printing material, place the model, add support, set the printing parameters and save the slicing file. Open the slicing software. 1. Set the printer model. Here is the example of Ender 3S1. Click the printer management bar, click add printer, find the corresponding model. Click add. Next. The machine is added. 2. Set the printing material. Click on the material management bar, set the material and nozzle aperture according to the actual situation. 3. Model placement. Import the STL model file into the software and adjust the model position, size, angle, and other parameters. Different angles of placement will print out different results. Here, make a copy of the model and place the two models at different angles. Click Slice. Preview to observe the pattern of the model surface. You can see that when the model is placed horizontally, the back of the model is less curved. So you will see a large area of obvious step-like layer pattern. While the model placed vertically, the smaller curved surface is mainly concentrated in the tail part and the neck partition surface. So compared to the horizontally placed model, the area of the step lamination is much smaller. Observe the back of the model, the curved surface of the back of the model is preserved. So changing different placement angles can preserve as much detail as possible on the surface of the model. 4. Adding support. Switching back to the prepare, you can see that part of the surface of the model appears in red. The red part of the surface has a large overhang angle, or overhang appears. FDM 3D printing needs to start from the bottom layer by layer upward accumulated printing molding. Initially, the printing platform provides an upward support force. If the periphery of the print path has a large span with the periphery of the previous layer or if there is an overhang, the printed material will dangle downward because there is no upward support. So you need to add support to the red part of the surface to provide support. You can add support to the model by clicking on Custom Support. You can also click Print Settings, check the Support option to let the computer automatically add support. Five, printing parameters setting. Click print settings, you can see some recommended setting options. There are layer height, fill, support, and attachment respectively. The smaller the set layer height value, the more delicate the surface of the model is, and the smaller and less obvious the step layer pattern is divided. However, the number of layers to be printed increases accordingly, and the printing time also increases a lot. The larger the fill setting, the more solid the inner part of the model will be. If the setting is set to zero, the model will be hollow inside, which may cause the top area to be printed without the internal fill to provide support, making it impossible for the material to adhere and causing the print to fail. So it is recommended not to set to zero. Support the selection with attachment at the same time, which can enhance the stability of printing. For someone who is using the software for the first time, they can print some simple models by modifying these recommended settings to make them have a preliminary understanding of 3D printing. But if you want to print some complex models and want to have better printing effect, you need to modify more print settings parameters. Click Custom to see more setting options. Subdivision settings after skilled printing of simple models. 6. Save the slice file. After setting up, click Slice. The software will calculate the weight of the material needed to print the model and the printing time. To be on the safe side, it is recommended to add 10% to this value as a reference. Click Save to File. Name the file, it should be noted that do not use Chinese naming. Try to use English and numeric naming, because some models do not recognize Chinese. The file name will be garbled when the printer selects the file to print. Slice the file in .code format, 
the printer recognizes the file in .code format. Click Save to copy the file into the removable media.